Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Pam, it's Michael. Help me. I need help right now. Michael, what's wrong? I'm hurt. I have hurt myself. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is not looking good, Pam. Michael, do you need me to call an ambulance? No, I want you to pick me up. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I thought you said that you were hurt. I am hurt. I hurt I'm my sorry. foot. I'm Pam. I want to come to work, Pam. but I need you to come and pick me up. No, God. Hey, whoa, Michael. Oh, God. It's okay. It's Jim. Oh. Just say again really loudly uh, what happened. Okay. I burned my foot very badly on my foreman grill, and I now need someone to come and bring me into work. You burned your foot on a foreman grill. I enjoy having breakfast in bed. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me. And since I don't have a butler, I have to do it myself. So most nights before I go to bed, I will lay six strips of bacon out on my George Foreman grill. Then I go to sleep. When I wake up, I plug in the grill. I go back to sleep again. Then I wake up to the smell of crackling bacon. It is delicious. It's good for me. It's a perfect way to start the day. Today, I got up, I stepped onto the grill, and I clamped down on my foot. That's it. I don't see what's so hard to believe about that. On test kit. Okay, I'll be putting them everywhere. And please don't throw these out. This is a radon test kit. Please don't throw these out. See them all over the office. Toby has been leaving radon kits everywhere, like he owns the place. The first time I threw mine away, I thought it was an ant trap. But I figured I'd rather live with ants than with this creepy little disc. The second time, I thought it was one of those, you know, the things you turn over and it moves, like a cow thing. But upon closer examination, it was another ant trap, so I threw it away. And the third time, I did it out of spite. Come on, Michael, you're, you're interrupting. You're kidding me, God! You say radon is silent but deadly, and then you expect me not to make farting noises with my mouth? What is this? Please sit down. You know what, we're not gonna die of radon, we're gonna die of boredom. Yeah. <laughs> right? And if I had a gun with two bullets, and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. Oh. That's yeah. not, okay, all right. You were being really funny, and then you went too far. I would kill Bin Laden and then Toby. No, that's it's still, still, still Okay, geniuses, how would you do it? Yes, it is true. I, Michael Scott, am signing up with an online dating service. Thousands of people have done it, and I am going to do it. I need a username, and I have a great one. Little kid lover. That way people will know exactly where my priorities are at. Hey, cuz. Heard you're having money problems. No, you didn't. Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy, all your problems go away. How would that help, Creed? In Monopoly, you go bankrupt, you lose. You don't go by Monopoly, man. That game is nuts. Nobody just picks up get-out-of-jail-free cards. Those things cost thousands. That is a good point. Bankruptcy, Michael, is nature's do-over. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. Like the witness protection program. Exactly. Not at all. I've always wanted to be in the witness protection program. Fresh start. No debts, no baggage. I've already got my name picked out. Lord Rupert Everton. I'm a, uh, a shipping merchant who raises fancy dogs. That's the life. I declare bankruptcy! Okay, Wendy, hot and juicy redhead. We'll give this a try. Wendy's. Hello, Wendy. This is Kevin's friend, Michael. This isn't Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry, could you put her on, please? Wendy's restaurant. Damn it, Kevin. Okay. Um, could I just have a frosty and a baked potato, please? You have to come to the restaurant to order food. Well, I'll send somebody to pick it up. Just have it ready. And it's ready now. Well, I'll put it aside. Oh my no! God! No! God, please, no! 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 Nice. All done. 
What's wrong, Michael? I got gum in my hair. You do? This just stinks. Don't touch it. Please don't touch it. You got a ton of dandruff. Okay, let me be. How do you get gum in your hair? I was walking in and I noticed something shiny under Stanley's car and I got under to see what it was and I messed up my hair. All for a stupid piece of tin foil. But best case scenario, you thought it was a quarter. Kill me. Right now. We have peanut butter in the kitchen. I don't feel like peanut butter. Give me an ice cream sandwich. Nope, not for you. It's for your hair and it is 9 a.m. No, Dwight, not the good peanut butter. People are gonna get mad. Hey, 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 this is my hair we're talking about. Smells good. Tastes good, too. Oh, don't. That's disgusting. Wow, a lot of calories. Well, just don't leave it on too long. Keep massaging, please. Jim, could you come in here, please? Hi, Jim. Hello. I am Harvey, a computer. Jim sucks. <laughs> Zing. Oh, wow! That's so rude. I'm sorry, I can't control him. Yeah, he can. You know what? Get Pam. For this? Pam! Pam, you look very hot today. <laughs> Pam, meet Harvey. This is Michael's new friend. Great. Me so horny, me love you, Long Tim. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that is gross. Who's Long Tim? Damn it. Long time. Me love yoy long time. Oh, well, yoy should bring Long Tim in one day. No. Nope. I'd love to meet Long Tim. Yeah, right? Yeah. You ruined a funny joke, you. Get out of my off five. Okay. Okay. Bye, Harvey. Boobs. Phil recruited me to sell these cards, and now I am recruiting you. Who is this guy again? Don't worry about Phil. He drives a Corvette. He is doing just fine. Okay. Calling cards are the wave of the future. These things sell themselves. Who uses calling cards anyway? You know what? That's a nice attitude, Ryan. I'm just helping you invest in your future, my friend. It sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Didn't you lose a lot of money on that other investment, the one from the email? You know what, Toby? When the son of the deposed king of Nigeria emails you directly asking for help, you help. His father ran the freaking country, OK? All right, so raise your hand if you want to get rich. All right. No, um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? All right, let me explain again. <laughs> Phil has recruited me and another guy. Now, we are getting three people each. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all going to make. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme, per se. It's. I have to go make a call. Oh, my life! Michael, what's wrong? Everything's wrong. The stress of my modern office has caused me to go into a depression. Depression? Isn't that just a fancy word for feeling bummed out? Dwight, you ignorant slut. Depression is a very serious illness. Over 32,000 people commit suicide every year, according to a 2004 study. Is that the last year that data was available? Yes. My head is in such pain and turmoil. Don't do anything rash. Wait, where are the warehouse guys? I didn't. I didn't think you needed them for this part. OK. That's, you said to just, that's the whole point, dummy. OK, I'm on it, OK? Michael is up on the roof and he's acting strange. Oh, my life. Michael, what's wrong? Everything is wrong, Dwight. The stress of my modern office has made me depressed. Depressed? Isn't that just a fancy word for feeling <laughs> down? What, you ignorant slut?